Hello and welcome in the story show. Tonight we have a very special film for you. People say that life is all a series happy incident. But you are going to show you today an incredible story. It happened right here in Sydney some time ago. Why was this man killed? Brian, I love you. So do I. Look, I want to divorce. Take it easy. I don't want to be the reason why you divorce. So you don't love me? Yes, of course. I love you. But I am Tony's best friend and I can do this him. I don't care. I haven't got feeling for him anymore. But you insist so much? I'm pregnant. Are you sure? Hello, hello. Is that Lisa? Hi, how are you? Yes, hello. Why are you calling me? What do you want? What's wrong? Well, there is something quite serious, something terrible going on here. Where are you? I'm in Botanic Garden. I was there for work, you know. Then I heard voice and I realized I knew them. So I had looked to a bush and guess what I saw? Stop the stupid nonsense and tell me what happened there. I don't want to say it on the phone. You should come here. Oh, please. Tell me what is going on. I just can't wait anymore. Lisa, I'm just in front of them in park. Come right now. I am a little bit cold. Let's go and drink a coffee. Okay, let's go. Oh, where I am? Here I am. Tell me what is going on here. Oh, uh, sorry. I had a witness with waiting for you. <laughs> you just missed Charlotte and Brian. And you know what? Charlotte is pregnant. Oh, it's very nice. I'm so happy. I'm going to be an aunt. Sorry, sorry, but I think that Thomas is not the father. Nonsense stops that. You must be drunk. I may be drunk a little, but I know what? I have heard all right. All right, I'm going to investigate. Lisa, my dear sister, it's so nice to see what breeds you are here. I know you are always in this bar at the time of the day. I was just, I was just talking uh, in uh, to see you and uh, see if you are right. Well, I'm just fine as you can see. Are you sure? Have, uh, you haven't. Uh, <laughs> so you, you want to tell me? Oh yes, I... Uh, yes, hello? Charlotte, my dear wife, it's you? Yes, hello. I was just calling to say I'd be late tonight. I won't be back before 8 p.m. I've got so many things to do. What have you got to do that is so important? Well, uh, well, so many things. I, I can't remember them all. Anyway, see you tonight. I have to go now. Maybe you should open your eyes. What do you mean? I've met my girl and he has told me we show Charlotte and Brian together in Botanic Park. So what? My girl had heard them talk and... Uh, well, I guess I owe you the truth now. What is it? It's kind of hard to say. But what? Charlotte... Uh, what? It appears that Charlotte and Brian are having an affair. What? I don't believe it! So that's it! She wants to play? Okay, okay, we will play. Hey, Michael, how are you doing? Uh, would you like a drink? Bonjour. Hello. Hello, whiskey on the rock for me, please. One for me too, please. Okay. How many glasses have you already had? Well, let me see. One, two, four, but the, but, the small, but the only small ones. I can see that. Your wife is pregnant. Stop that. You've drink too much. As is you. Uh, but why? I drink. But I know what I have heard. Your wife is pregnant and Brian is the father. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine, Fine thanks. thanks. Have you seen my husband yet? Um, no. No. Uh -huh. 
Ok, ok. Ok. Sorry, I have to leave you an important matter. Ok, ok. Bye. 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 Hello? Monica, can you come and see me, please? What's happening? What's the matter? Have you seen Gabriela recently? I find her very strange. Ah, uh, why? How come? Well, I think she's having an affair. In fact, as I know your private eye, I would like you to spy her. Hi, it's Monica. Well, I saw Gabriel and the man entering the hotel. No, I didn't recognize him. I'll call you when I know more about him. No, I, I can't be sure. She, she's lying. I'm very disappointed. I saw she was the woman of my life. What a shame. Who could have imagined that? I trusted her so much. You're right. It's too bad. Here you are. The photos. This is a picture I took. You can see Gabriel and the man, but I can't really see the man because I was too far. I know what I have to do. Oh my god, it's me! me the story? Oh yes, I do remember the story, the sad story. It was a terrible mess. It's a story about a woman who had a secret lover and a wristband. A guy called Mitchell got me. Yes, he lost his bearing and decided to hire a killer. A match meant to take revenge. <coughs> this guy Mitchell and picture of this wife lover and he handed them to the matchman. He told him there he would he would find the lover they used to meet in a hotel downtown. That day, the killer hid and waited for the man he was to kill. When he spotted his target, he shot the man right into his heart. The man collapsed and immediately died. There was a small problem. Shh. There was a small problem. The man he had shot was not James, Gabriel Lovett, but another man who looked like him. The man who shot die was called Brian and he had an affair, but yes, but I know why with Gabriel, but with someone called. Charlotte, the pure man, was a lover, but not the real one. He got shot under the pavement. Sorry, a very stupid one. Believe me. <laughs>